That latest killing in this city has the homicide unit's hands very full, as you can imagine. Right now, 17 of this year's deadly shootings in Cincinnati are unsolved. The killers so far have gone unpunished, and WLWT News 5 investigative reporter Jatera McGee has been tracking where we stand, and she joins us live from District 1 headquarters with the latest for us. Jatera. Well, Mike, good evening. We have been closely monitoring every homicide in the city so far this year. The city's 39th victim died just hours ago. In all, we know the victims range from 15 to 74. Six of them were juveniles. If I can help you, I will do it. Even if I can't, I'll still try. Nicholas was just a, a really kind guy and so it hit people hard. Employees of Uptown Rental Properties are still recovering after the loss of their co-worker, Nicholas Kernan. The 43-year-old landscaper was working in Coryville in May when someone shot and killed him. If police know why, they aren't saying. Nicholas was a guy who worked and came home and played music, and he wasn't a drinker, and he wasn't a gambler, and he wasn't a guy who got into trouble. This was a random murder. Dan Schimberg is the president of the company. They put up a $10,000 reward for tips. Cincinnati police released these pictures and video of a person of interest last month. The fact that this person is so reckless and callous to murder someone in cold blood in the middle of the day, everyone should be frightened and concerned. Kernan isn't the only victim whose friends and family are waiting for answers. CPD is investigating 39 homicides this year. 56% have been solved. That means 17 cases remain unsolved. There are two unsolved homicides in District 5 this year, four in District 1 and four in District 4, and seven in District 3. Just last week, 18-year-old Shamari Mingo was killed in a drive-by shooting near Government Square. We're asking you to move the devil old out of here. She was the great niece of a longtime anti-gun violence advocate. So far, no one has been arrested. In District 3, the hardest hit, 12 homicides are under investigation this year, and 7 of the 12 are unsolved. One of those cases is the murder of 16-year-old Lamar Spikes, shot and killed in Westwood in February. He was a good student and great athlete at Taft, where his nickname was Leader. Homicides at this point are slightly down from last year. Cincinnati police records show there were 42 homicides at this point in 2022, 49 at the same point in 2021, and 51 in 2020. But any number is too many. It's so critical that these arrests need to be made and these people are held accountable. And we spoke tonight with the family of Nicholas Kernan, the landscaper. Although they didn't want to go on camera, they did want us to emphasize that they are really hoping here someone comes forward with information that leads to an arrest. We also checked in with CPD. They are not releasing any new details right now on the case. We're live at police headquarters tonight. Jatera McGee, WNWT News 5. Jatera, thanks.